All right, guys. I am back after. I think I've been. I don't think I've uploaded anything for like three or four months. I've been extremely busy with, um, you know, costumes being built for clients all over the world. It's been a. Uh, <laughs> it's been a pretty, you know, busy rest of the year for me. But um, yeah, I'm back, and I figured, you know, what better way to come back than to upload. The holy grail of action figures. NECA just released the, you know, the Alien Queen. I've been waiting way, way, way too long for them, <clears throat> for something this awesome to come out. And it's, you know, finally after 35 years, we get the Queen Alien figure that we've all been, you know, dreaming about owning. Really cool box here. It's the elevator, you know, when she, towards the end of the film, if you guys, I mean, I don't, I don't know anybody that hasn't seen Aliens that's watching, you know, these toy reviews, but towards the end of the movie she comes up in this elevator and stares at Ripley and, you know, hisses and stuff, and, you know, that was really cool that they added that there. The box alone just, you know, it, it displays awesome just the way it is. It's, you know, I was at a dilemma whether I was going to open this thing up or not, but, you know, fuck it, my curiosity is getting the best of me, and I might just buy one to keep in the box to display. On the side, we get uh, everyone's favorite, um, you know, Marine here staring Queen Queen Alien right down. <clears throat> and on the back, now this is really cool. Really nice box art back here. And let me just, you guys can, you know, pause that if you want to read all that. I really don't feel like explaining it because I simply want to fucking open this thing. So, let's get to it. Well, here's the bitch out of her box. And as you can see, you know, there is some assembly required. Her little back thorns here look like they're on ball joints. And then we get, um, a longer extended inner mouth and the short extended mouth. Man, she is beautiful. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> the paint job on this thing alone is just, it's mind blowing. I'm gonna zoom in, you know, I'm gonna go over details and everything once I get her assembled. What I also thought was cool is back here they give you a little um, insert like with the hive goop and shit like that like in the movies i'm actually going to build my own diorama for her like my last queen alien i did with the mcfarlane i built the egg sack with her and you know i built pretty much all the goop and shit on the background you guys can see that video it's on my channel it's neca themselves actually put it on their facebook because they were so impressed with what i did but yeah i'm actually going to build an egg sack and you know the whole shebang with her but yeah, I'm gonna get her put together so we can uh, get get to the rest of this. But yeah, the detail on this this figure is incredible, amazing. Everything I could have ever wished for, found in a Queen Alien toy, exists here. The fully poseable tail. She's long. I think uh, longer than three feet long, even with the tail extended all the way out. And um, the only thing you had to assemble was, you know, you guys saw the, uh, the ball jointed uh, spines and you put her, her smaller inner mouth in, which is what I did. I just like the fact that, you know, I like displaying her with her mouth closed and open. And there's also a really nice feature here too, where, you know, when she first looks at Ripley, she, her, uh, she, her head is kind of slid back and that little, and her little, um, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, that thing also slides out. It's on like a little slot under there. Great. Awesome. Fucking awesome. <laughs> and, um, here you get her, um, her other mouth, which if you want to display her with, you know, this firing out, it'd be great for, you know, reenacting little scenes. I hope they release a power loader with her, or, uh, you know, with Ripley or something, that would be awesome. To cre recreate that scene, I think that goes down in movie history is probably one of the most epic fights ever. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pose her, stand her up a little bit, um, get her up off of this stand. Oh, 
this thing likes to, I don't know, just kind of rest on here. There's, there's no, you know, no resistance at all. It just kind of free spins. I wish I had this thing better set up for this, but this is the best I can do. You know, her, we got articulation, her knees and all that stuff, you know, on her own, she will not want to stand up. It'll be kind of like the McFarland queen. That's why, you know, they gave you the stand, but you know, standing up, of course she goes like off camera. I think you can actually stand her up on her own, but her head doesn't like to look all the way down. I'll show you guys. I mean, <laughs> looks like she's saying, I just want to eat your soul. <laughs> yeah, here's, you know, better look at some of the under detail. I love that copper brushed on like just it just looks awesome really biomechanical Let me go ahead and set this down and get her back into crouching tiger hidden alien pose here so you guys can get up oh, well there it thing goes again all right let's see if... okay okay I think she's gonna stand up now Tilt her head a little bit. There we go. Size comparison here with the Corporal Hicks. So you guys can get an idea here. You know, I can't wait to, you know, set her up and pose her with everything. And then Hudson, looking scared out of his mind. And I'm gonna grab some aliens and, you know, set them up so you guys can see everything and here we are with the whole squad and this alien's pretty much standing up as straight as he's going to stand on his own any of you guys who own the NECA um, alien toys know that they don't really like standing up all too well but they will stand if you can uh, you know find that right spot on the shelf and <laughs> the knee positioning but I want to say maybe, man, she's the queen. She's just huge. I mean, look at this. And she's crouched. She's not even standing all the way up. Absolutely fucking badass. I cannot think of anything I've ever spent $100 on being this epically awesome. <laughs> but yeah, this gives you an idea of, you know, how everything looks together. I can't wait to get Bishop um, and, you know, the others. A dog alien is going to be released. That's going to be awesome. Definitely be one to add to the collection. And now it's going to be time to build up the Predator toy collection. I think I, yeah, I lost all mine a couple years ago. So it's going to be time soon. But yeah, you guys, uh, let me know what you think about the review. And uh, thanks for watching. Later.